Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to get this Pottery Barn inspired mirror for a fraction of the price. I used items from the Dollar Tree so this was very affordable and budget friendly. So if you're interested to see how I got this mirror then just keep on watching and the tutorial is coming now. The supplies needed will be some mirrors from the Dollar Tree in your choice of size, duct tape, and a foam board or two. So pretty much we're going to MacGyver ourselves a mirror. So you're just going to want to line your mirrors up in the format that you want and then you'll grab duct tape and secure the edges or if you have kids they are great helpers at this point. Yep, those are my two, pretty goofy and pretty cute. And while they're being pretty cute, I thought I'd go ahead and apologize for the sick voice. I am in fact in my deathbed. No, I'm just kidding. I am actually narrating this from the struggle bus, but I am sick, so I apologize for that nasally, noisy voice. I know it's sexy. So all you want to do is just go ahead and tape up all the panels like so, horizontal and vertical, and then I'm also going to tape up the seams so everything is nice and secure. By the way, did I mention that this is a collab DIY as well with two of my bestest friends here on YouTube? Yeah? Well now you know, so check them out. I will have them linked and listed down below. Don't worry if you don't have too many little helpers, this is totally doable all by yourself. After applying tape to the seams, you're going to want to apply an X formation. This is just going to help kind of stabilize the mirror a little bit more. Now for more stability, I added two foam boards and I'm going to tape them together so everything stays together nice and neat. Hello friends! Obviously my dog wanted to say hello, but she wanted you to know that you need to tape up the sides of the foam board to the mirror and do the X as well for extra stability. Now you can flip over the mirror and voila, you have a Pottery Barn inspired mirror. Now you could see the Dollar Tree mirrors aren't exactly the same and don't line up, but that's fine. It adds character. I like it. I'm happy. Remember my entryway dresser I was supposed to paint like six months ago? Yeah, still not painted, still a wreck. But anyways, this is where I'm going to put my mirror. So this is the before, and here is the after. And of course, twinkle lights and a lit candle make everything look more elegant and more glamorous. And yes, that is a Pinkie Pie My Little Pony sticker on the Welcome Friends sign. My daughter put it there and I find it appropriate, so I left it. Thanks for coming along with me and my kids making this $12 Pottery Barn inspired mirror with products all from the Dollar Tree. Super easy peasy and especially for someone like me who is not a crafter. I'm not crafty and I could do it guys. Don't forget to go head over and check out my friends videos. They both have amazing DIYs on their channel. Click their picture and it'll bring you there. Heart you guys all. Bye everybody.